So if you think you want to start your own digital agency, number one, that's a silo. That's doing just one piece of the marketing pie, but it doesn't mean it isn't valuable. It would mean that you're going to be somebody I might bring in to do a part of what I'm doing as a full service person for a client who wants more than just that. But let's stick with digital marketing agency. What do you want to look for? What do you want to think about? I think you'd want to think about, do you want to be a sole provider of these services and work with other teams and have them go out and necessarily find the clients and do some of the other heavy lifting of elements that are going to need to be produced for this? Or do you want to provide all of those services and be a full service digital agency where you're doing social media, you're creating assets, you're managing engagement, you know the back end, you can build websites, you can link all of these things together and have them work seamlessly together. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what part of that is important and that you feel most comfortable in. As a sole proprietor, we all know that the digital world can also be a bit of a time suck. So you have to figure out how much you think you can do alone, how much you think you can do with one or two other people maybe helping you. And remember, you have to have visual assets for this. So if you want to be in the YouTube universe, you better be creating videos. So you're going to need a camera. You're going to need um, sound, lighting, uh, and all of that. And then you have to go find clients. The nice thing about being part of a team or working under an agency's banner is they get up the clients they chase the dollars down and you just get paid when you've done the work. And you should think about also, do you want to be chasing down clients or do you want a paycheck? Look at both sides of that coin. If you're really young, getting that paycheck the first five years might be the right way to go. Um, agencies have gone to where we want contractors. We, we want people who we only pay when we need them, but we need them all the time. So that can be pretty lucrative. And then again, you're not chasing down the dollar. You just do your work. So here's what I would do. If you're gonna be in the digital world, then you know about Google. So use it. Start Googling areas that you think you can fulfill the workload in and figuring out what that looks like. So if I were to give you some homework, I would want you to go look at all the social media platforms out there and which ones you're going to be recommending to clients. And there are over a hundred. Most of us know nine or 10. Um, the other ones may not be important, but if you've got somebody in a very specific world, maybe there's a platform just for that world and you would want to understand it and figure out how to incorporate it. You have to understand too that just because you love Instagram doesn't mean that's right for your client. So you'd want to know and understand the top nine figure out which ones work best for which reason, and then figure out a menu for the clients that you'll be ser serving. And it isn't always just Instagram. The other thing is to look up the deliverables of what the digital world offers so that you can manage your clients' expectations. Is it just awareness? Is it just likes? Is it clicks? Is it uh, views of your videos? Or do you actually want to move the revenue needle, needle for these people? Do you want people to walk into a store and buy something? And then you have to figure out how to put it all together. If any of this made sense to you as a young entrepreneur wanting to start a company of some kind, please let me know. Let me know what I missed and we'll do another segment just like it. Uh, so click subscribe and leave a comment.